Welcome to this tutorial on how to back up your iTunes library, iTunes 7 and up of any versions. This program backs up your library and if you want to back it up if you're on a Mac, you can back it up from your Windows, transfer it and put it on your Mac. So the features I'll be showing at this moment will be the use of it and how to back up your, I your iTunes. So basically to get this program, go to this link which I prepared in the description here it is once you just click on free download but let's look at the features so if I click on features what you can do is move iTunes library to a new PC including all data transfer music videos applications etc copy iTunes from Windows XP Windows Vista or Windows 7 you know in case you upgrade from another OS you can just easily transfer it it works with 32-bit and a 64-bit version of Windows and you can transfer stuff from a PC to a Mac so yeah, that's pretty good. You can back up your iTunes library, restore iTunes, and whatever you can do with it. So to get this, just click on free download. Once you click on that, just scroll down until it shows here, uh, copy trans tune swift. Basically click on, click on download installer. After you install the installer, copy trans control center should open up. It's not installed yet. It will give you a list of other programs they have. Basically click on the copy trans tune swift. It would say downloading and it will install it automatically. I already have it installed so I'm starting up mine right now. Now the bummer about this program is that it's not free. It's going to be free until March 2011. That's when you're, you're going to have to uh, pay for it. So uh, this one's a trial but to activate it the guy who sent me a message on YouTube said to include this swift micro helper with caps on. Don't worry I'll post this in the description and yeah once you copy it, go to activate, enter the code, and it will be activated. But only until March next year. So yeah, uh, you can check out the settings here if you want to use whatever, but let's go to the main concept of this program. So if you want to transfer, you can go ahead and do with that. From PC, Mac, but, hmm, let me try a Mac. We have to put on an external hard drive, and then you start the transfer. Then you put it on Mac. Um... Let's go back to the main uh, interface and backup. Let's go try out that. So if you click on backup, uh, let's go with full backup. Choose a location and the name of the backup file. I'm just going to name it Allen's. Oh, sorry, don't name it yet. It's a backup file. Browse an area. So if you click on the browse here, we choose a directory. I'm going to choose my documents, give it a name. iTunes backup seems sufficeable on save and then start back up and we'll see how it goes it basically backs up everything that's in your iTunes and so let's say you formatted your computer but you have to re-put everything this one can do the same but this program is really good because I am supporting it for the copy trans company the guy asked me to do it for him and yeah this is a program that has a suite with it copy trans can back up stuff from your iPod and they have a bunch of other stuff. The only free thing they have is the copy trans manager dash free, which is here. This one you can use this instead of the iTunes uh, manager. So yeah, this company they work a lot and they did a lot of effort in their programs. Although not all of them are free, so that's the bummer part. But make sure to get this, which is copy trans tune swift, and this will be free until March. But make sure to include the the code. Yeah. So let me just wait for this backing up. Alright, after it's almost done validating the backup file, here it is at 1.59 gigabytes. Now it's done, it said the backup complete, click on OK. And then after that, you can go ahead and close it, but let's go check out the file in located in documents, which is where I saved it. So if I go to it and go to iTunes backup, you notice it's an empty file. Well, if you're going to do it on a Mac and whatnot, let's say I already backed it up in here, but we need to transfer the file to a thumb drive, bring it onto another computer, and then install Copy Trans Tune Swift and click on Restore. Select the backup to restore from. Then we go, let's say, the thumb drive, but I'm in Documents actually. And then we'll see it. Click on Open start restore and it should restore your files on iTunes don't uh, that is just an example but once you back up the iTunes library which is what I did 
and I saved it in my documents but you must take this and put it in the thumb drive or whatever you have and yeah and there may be two files and if you have to combine two of them which is you know drag both of them into a thumb drive and whatnot and yeah that procedure was with the PC um, the one with Mac is just what I showed but yeah that's how you like back up but if you want to transfer from another computer to another you go like that PC external hard drive new computer and yeah you do it like that but it doesn't really matter on uh, just go to backup and then save it use this program on Mac and then you can back it up so yeah that's basically uh, the review of the copy trans tune swift you can go ahead and play around with the settings they're not really that uh, hard to use and that's how you back up your iTunes library thank you for watching goodbye make sure to use the code as I said when you open up copy trans tune swift and then you go to activation don't forget that alright goodbye